Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV. I'm your host, Akivito. The consultative meeting between the government of Nagaland and the tribal bodies was conducted on August 18 in the State Banquet Hall, CM's residential complex in Kohima, during which various issues, including the boundary issue between Dimapur and Perin district, women reservation, and the register for indigenous inhabitants of Nagaland was discussed. During the meeting, Chief Minister Nifirio, in his keynote address, said that the long pending issue of boundary demarcation between Perin and Dimapur districts need to be discussed and settled amicably. The lack of clarity on account of the demarcation has been adversely affecting the administration as well as the development of the areas along the border areas of the two districts. On the issue of RIIN, Rio said every Naga can trace his route back to his village and therefore ancestry will be verified through a four-tiered verification mechanism after which a person will be registered as an indigenous inhabitant of Nagaland. Similarly, non-Naga tribes such as Kacharis, Garos, Kukis and Mikirs who can trace their ancestry to a village established before Nagaland statehood that is before the 1st of December 1963 would be entitled to register as an indigenous inhabitant of Nagaland. In regard to the issue of women reservation in the urban local bodies in Nagaland, the matter has unfortunately turned into an ugly controversy, which has drawn sharp emotive reactions, he said. As a result, Nagaland hasn't been able to hold elections to the local bodies since 2008. The last effort by the government to hold the ULB elections in 2017 resulted in widespread agitation and unfortunate incidents, leading to serious law and order problems. A cabinet subcommittee was constituted in August 2018 to study the problem and to suggest ways to resolve the issue. Despite their best efforts, the committee could not make any meaningful progress on resolving this issue. It was informed that by not holding the ULB elections, the town's dwellers cannot avail a meaningful say on important issues impacting their daily lives. Further, the establishments are also deprived of substantial grants under the Finance Commission for undertaking various developmental activities. It was informed that these were released only during the financial year 2019-2020 after a personal meeting between the Chief Minister and the Union Finance Minister. Later after the meeting at a press conference, Minister of Planning and Coordination and Parliamentary Affairs Niba Kronu said that the opinions and suggestions of the tribal hosts were noted and plans to have a more detailed discussions. He said that they have also discussed the formation of civil societies within the Nagas of Nagaland. It was a progressive meeting with the presence of all the tribal hosts of Nagaland and there are hopes to meet again, it was informed.